I think it's really cute. I didn't even see that. That's it's so cute. funny. <laughs> Very excited to talk about the appendage. Um, it's so crazy. Like I, I watched the movie, really, really enjoyed it. And I was talking to my wife, and I'm like, I feel like you would like this movie, but also she doesn't do monsters very well. <laughs> yes. I was like, there's so much about this movie that you're gonna love, and there's one thing. <laughs> yes. Warning. One thing you're going to be kind of iffy about. Um, but it is an incredible, it's an incredible movie. And it is a very, it's a very powerful story underneath all the like terror. And I wanted to ask you maybe about the origins of the story and kind of how it developed into this project for you. Absolutely. I, I don't know how to write without coming from an emotional place. So it definitely came from a place of anxiety and depression and imposter syndrome and where I was at in my life at the time. And that was kind of a big inspiration. And, you know, I had a session in therapy where my therapist had this really great exercise where she was like, why don't you turn your anxiety into a character and, and have a chat? Let's have a chat. Let's describe her. Let's figure her out, you know? And so that was just a really beautiful exercise that I also thought would be great narratively. I, as I was watching it, I, I was kind of thinking to myself, like, this is almost an exploration of a toxic relationship with yourself. 100%. You nailed it. <laughs> you nailed it. Yeah, a codependent, toxic relationship mm -hmm. with, yeah, intrusive thoughts and how we, it's hard to untie yourself from them. It, it, it very much is. And, and I definitely found myself relating to a lot of kind of those themes and emotions of you're not good enough, what you do isn't isn't important you know all that kind of totally. creeps in it and and i want to ask about creating that that creating the appendage creating that second creature self start there what was it like uh seeing that happen seeing like actually like seeing that idea manifest in that sort of in those effects i mean because that's real that's a real that's not a cgi little creature that is a real thing she is real <laughs> <laughs> he was another actor on set i mean it was really crazy um and you know the practical effects are so amazing because they are real and visceral and that was really important to this story because if it didn't feel real it kind of like ruins the movie it's like you know and there's no stakes like oh it's a movie and it's fake and i can tell you know we needed it to feel real and so you know that was a really interesting kind of tonal balance to hit too where i worked with amber marie our, our creature designer and we went back and forth a lot and we, you know, looked at movies like The Fly, which I think is also a really emotional horror film. And we were like, okay, how do they do that? And, you know, how can we create sympathy for this creature ultimately, but also have it be really gross? So it was <laughs> really interesting. You know, it's like, okay, she has to be kind of cute. Like, you know, I think Yay! she's really cute. I see that. That's so cute. funny. <laughs> and, you know, how do we make her cute and scary? Okay, she has big yeah. eyes, but sharp teeth. And, you know, we looked at animals and, you know, it was a really interesting back and forth. Um, but I think having that amazing creative collaboration with Amber was kind of key to all of that. Were there, are, are there any like, like monsters, you talk about the fly, but I'm curious if there are any like uh, horror movie monster creatures kind of that have maybe that are near and dear to your heart. Like, do you, do you prefer gremlins? Do you like critters? Like what, what are your kind of favorite little like creatures like that from horror? Yeah. I love gremlins. <laughs> gremlins are the best. So cute. Um, I also love Kwatu from Total Recall, who is definitely obviously oh my gosh. an influence on this. That makes so much sense. Right. Uh, right. I was like, it's like Kwatu, but does. like the cords her. <laughs> so that was a big one. And belly all from basket case. Um, I just, I'm just enamored with, I don't know. The, the thing is another movie that we looked at. Incredible movie. Um, yeah. And, you know, it's just amazing when these things are real and they're talking to the actors. And I, I'm just like blown away by stuff like that. So I have a deep affection for practical effects and, and little creatures like that. It is it is really um, interesting how you do a great job of capturing that sympathy. And, and there are moments where you're kind of like, oh, no, I think I should feel bad for this thing. I think I should feel bad for her. I think I should feel bad for this is not i'm talking i'm saying creature and i'm saying thing but really like i'm i'm being disingenuous to its emo to their emotions you know what i mean like it, that's what it kind of puts you through in your brain as you're watching the, the film yeah and that was super intentional you know i think it was definitely the goal to be like okay like i understand why hannah is disgusted by this and yeah. doesn't want anyone to see it but at the same time 
it's me. <laughs> how do we know? How do we? You know, so it was really important because, you know, ultimately the message of the movie is we need to love ourselves and take care of ourselves and not banish the bad sides of ourselves. Be like, okay, we got to learn how to be friends with this side of ourselves. So it was, that sympathy was super important in landing that. Yeah, yeah, that is very complicated to do in real life, but you do a fantastic job of capturing in the movie. Anna, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking time to chat about Appendage. It's on Hulu uh, October the 2nd. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.